Hi, I'm Kira from MyFussyEater.com and today I'm doing a quick video to show you a new book which I have been reviewing and it is Jamie Oliver's Everyday Superfood. And you probably have heard about this book because there has been a lot of talk about it, a lot of press. Jamie's obviously doing a uh, TV series to go along with it as well. Um, it is a really interesting book, especially because of the way Jamie describes it. He says it's his most personal book so far. He says he's been through a journey of health and nutrition to write it. I believe he did actually uh, take a course, he did study nutrition in order to write this book. So I just think that in itself tells a lot and it shows that a lot has gone into this book. Personally, I really, really enjoyed it and I have made some fantastic recipes from this book so far. The first recipe that I made is the smoothie pancakes. Now my whole family absolutely love this recipe. It is really simple, it is essentially just ingredients that you, would use, that you would use to make a normal smoothie, plus some wholemeal flour as well. So they're super healthy, really filling, and the kids really enjoyed them. They're fun to make as well, and really easy. You just blitz everything up in the blender. You can make a big batch of the pancake batter and keep it in the fridge for several days. So it's really good for, for mornings when you just don't have a lot of time to put into breakfast prep and you can just pull it out of the fridge and fry them up quickly. The next recipe which I tried is Jamie's Skinny Carbonara. Now this is essentially a uh, spaghetti carbonara and instead of being made with heavy cream, it's made with uh, natural yogurt, so a bit healthier. It's also packed full of peas, which are blitzed down, so it's great for picky eaters, um, children or family members that, uh, that really don't like their vegetables. This is a great recipe because most of them are quite hidden. Uh, Jamie uses whole wheat spaghetti. I didn't actually have any in the day I made it. I used normal spaghetti, but I have since made it with whole wheat spaghetti and it's just as tasty. So this is another really, really great family recipe from Jamie's book. As regards the other recipes, obviously there's a lot in there. There are 30 breakfast, 30 lunches and 30 dinners. So you could eat like this for a whole month and not eat the same thing twice, which is great. So yeah, on the whole, this is a really great book and definitely one that I think I will come back to time and time again, and especially when I'm looking for inspiration for something really healthy for the kids. I hope you enjoyed this video. For lots more tips and tricks for fussy eaters and for recipes for the entire family, click subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.